day one check, zero. Didn't think with the rain and so forth there'd be anything moving, they're probably tucked in. Didn't really expect anything probably if it wasn't raining. Because it's going to be a, when the fisher comes back through, hopefully they pick up the smell of one of the sets. That's all we can hope for. Day four check. I got a fisher. Looks like a big one's probably a male. Dang. Alright. I can't believe I caught a fisher. I was seeing them. Had them on trail cams. But with a short season, I really didn't expect anything, but was blessed with this nice male fisher, big fella. Well, I need to go check the rest of my traps and uh, set them off. I'm only allowed one fisher, so I don't need to catch any more. And uh, then we'll proceed to start pulling stuff uh, later on uh, this week. That's awesome. Can't believe it. I got a fisher. All right. Can't believe it yet. But I went and snapped my other traps. And here's my Pennsylvania fisher. That's my first Pennsylvania fisher. Big male. Nice fur up here almost looks like a coon up here on the top. At first when I first spied it, when I was across the creek, that's what I thought I had. So I took another look and went, no, it's a fisher. I couldn't believe it. Cannot believe it. But man, their tail is about as long as the rest of them. <laughs> he has some good weight to him. He's probably there eight pound. I've seen him in New York when we were up turkey hunting already. And all this past year I've seen him in here and so forth. And probably this is the one I saw in the spring when we was headed out gobbler hunting one morning. But I also saw a smaller one which was probably a female. So I covered the area and lucked out. I thank you Game Commission for adding my area this year to the fisher trapping. Really appreciate it. And if you want to learn more on trapping systems and trapping tips, start now by hitting the round subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.